What's cracking, yo? This is Be Real, AKA Dr. Green Thumb, bringing you another smoke box with the comedian George Perez. Ladies, do you know what we do that you can't? We pull out. <laughs> Come on, fellas, pulling out, that shit is hard. That shit takes timing. You could be one pump off of 18 years of payments. Just like, fuck, man, I don't know. We're gonna chief it out, make it real smoky. Let's jump in the box. We're lighting it up in the smoke box right about now, and we got <laughs> George Perez up in here. That's what's up, my boy. Welcome hey, to the box. Thank Papa. you, man. Gracias a ti. Hey, thank you for taking the time to jump in. Um, you know, E-Zone was excited to, to get you up in here. A lot of a lot of the guys here were excited to have you up in here because, you know, a lot of us are fans, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Hey, I, I'm excited because, like, I remember the I used to bump you when I was in 10th grade, dog. Oh, shit. And right the neighborhood where we're, we're from is Cypress Street. Right. So we got to wear your clothes and still be representing the Representing. Hood. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got jump because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've no. heard stories like this before. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, thank you. Right thank on, you. brother. So what, so what got you into comedy? Oh, man, uh, a girl that believed in me. I used to be a cement finisher before that. And uh, this girl was like, damn fool, you always bring me to your house and you bone me to comedies. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's okay, like, I she's could like, see how that could sink yeah. in. Yeah. And she was like a master's in creative writing. Mm. So she took me to this underground like poetry slash comedy. And I seen this guy named Edwin San Juan. He's a Filipino cat. And I was like, I can do this shit. And after that, it was over. You know, as a kid, yeah. I wanted it. But I come from a place where I didn't know you can go to Hollywood and practice. Did you fuck around in class as a kid? Like, were you one of those kids that got in trouble for fucking around too much? Yeah. Climbing around? Yeah. Like, I, I'm the second youngest of 15 kids. Oh, shit. Okay. So I was like, I need I'm attention right somewhere. <laughs> I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. I'm like around, you know, number 12. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, 13. That was oh, one shit. of them, dog, you know. the la One of the last three on the line. Yeah. <laughs> so the I can relate. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And all my brothers, they're all one year apart. But oh, no shit. Yeah, my mom had her tubes tied and I was still born. Mm. That's some crazy shit. You said they almost called you Houdini, huh? <laughs> David Blaine these days. For this generation, David Blaine. Yeah, right? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 it was weird, but... Hell yeah, I always, that's how I got girls. Yeah. You know? Hey, chicks like to laugh, right? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's like the, the old, one of the, the oldest sayings, if you can make a chick laugh, you know you might Straight have a up. chance, right? Oh yeah, personality. And uh, I've always been a fan of comedy. Like, I didn't know it, but like, I, I have a collection of vinyl. On. I have videos, old shit. Who were the guys you were you were listening to coming up? Uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, right. uh, Lenny Bruce, but I didn't really understand Lenny Bruce until I became a comedian. George Carlin, and uh, you know, George Lopez was like, when I seen George Lopez on stage, yeah. I was like, no he fucking is way. Other level. Shit. Yeah. Other level. Yeah. We've been trying to get him in the box. That's my homie. We, we, oh, we Lopez, what's up, my boy? We link up in Laker games and other things. <laughs> you know, he's he's that's the that's the man right there. But yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I could see how all these influences. Yeah, but it was him. different because he's dark like me. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, like, that's true. Sorry, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's all light. lighter, dark. <laughs> yeah, he's he, he's dark like me, and he was just being real, and I related to all his shit. He's a, he's an icon, but, and then, yeah, dude, I got lucky being a comic though. Cause like my first year in a comedy, I was really hanging out with Felipe Esparza. I was hanging out with Jeff Garcia. Like, I was, it was weird. I mean, you know, that, that, you know, that's, that's one of the keys. I think when you're around other great comedians, it, it's sort of like a friendly competition. You all want to be great. Yeah. And then you guys are all working like the different circuits developing the chops and the timing and all that shit. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like you gotta uh, work a lot to, 
you know, to keep evolving in the craft. Oh yeah, like where I'm at right now, like uh, I'm not a, I'm not a paid regular at the comedy store, but I hang out there constantly and I go up a lot, and that's like the mecca of com- comedians. Yeah, I mean that's where a lot of people yeah. get a break. Yeah, yeah, and like I'm going through the chops there, and like, like dude, I had to go after David Tell the other day. Hmm. Like <laughs> you had to go after him. Yeah, like <laughs> you know. Uh, when you're around it, it, it makes you step up even harder. So I, I, I took yeah. that. You know, I'm, I'm a national headliner. I'm going to be in a movie coming out. I I, been, I got TV credits, but there they make you earn it. And they I make love you that. earn it, yeah. That you think you think that's that's why, uh, you know, a lot of comedians, when they come through there, they're like, you know, focused and humble about their shit because they have to earn it so heavy there. Or do you think it puts that, you know, like it, puts that fucking stripe down so it gives you that extra confidence you know what I, I I like how you said it because I was talking to somebody there and he's been there for 20 years and he goes hey homie it ain't gonna come when you want it yeah but when you get it it's called validation yeah and yeah the stamp yeah I mean dude everybody there has done it yeah I, I guess Russell Peters was the only one that just walked in and they were like hey we <laughs> <laughs> they, they got they got like the white markers that are doing it right there like he got his name on the wall fast but you know what's a trip too is uh how does it feel being the only latino american on the simpsons dog like huh. you were on the She's simpsons so dog it, that was crazy <laughs> I didn't, you know i didn't see that one coming you yeah know I mean? like, you're just doing music. Your figure, you know, like your function is to do music and put it out to your fans and shit like that. So mm-hmm. when something like that comes along and you're a fan of it, at that, it's like a little bit extra, you know, because you know if, if you have a little bit of success, opportunities will come, but you don't never, you don't really ever know what what it is that it's yeah, gonna come to. Yeah, or the you. level, right? Or the level, and that shit right there, you know, <coughs> it it we all were like, damn. We're, Fuck, we're gonna be on the Simpsons, and, <coughs> and they and, drew you perfect. And, you were high. Yeah, we were high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, not so much like, not unlike now. I'm high right. as fuck. But you know, it, it was man. it was a cool feeling, man. You know, to to experience that and see the, the them rerun it throughout yeah. all these fucking years. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was that was crazy. You also got that podcast, right, George? Oh yeah. yeah. Also, I, I got a podcast now too called George Press Stories. Right. And uh, I have celebrities, but I mostly have like people that I grew up with that I know will talk to me a certain way, and it's uh, pretty cool. Dog. It's, it's just nothing about comedy. There's better stories in that, I think, because you know when you're talking to your homies, yeah, they, they open up. Oh yeah. You're trying I, to talk to another celebrity, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I. Should. Yeah. <laughs> like like yeah, I got this one fool that was like, dog, I just. I just fucked this chick in the riverbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this buddy named Technical Foul Row. Technical Foul Row. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, because he's not like a regular foul. Yeah. It's a fucking it's technical, a technical like, foul. It's like Dick Eddie made that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, this is foul row. I'm like, this boy ain't foul, dog. He's this is technical foul. Yeah. Technical foul row. I'll, yeah. But he's awesome, dude. He's like, he's an awesome person. He's just, he, he, he'll... He tells a story, like, in it. Like, you could tell he didn't have cable. They acted a lot out of when they were kids. Hey, sometimes those are the best <laughs> characters, you know what I mean? And you co-host the show, right? Yeah, I co-host with them, man. It's a good shit, man. We, we just sit there, we tell some shit that's on our chest. It's cheaper than therapy, bro. Hey, it is. Mm-hmm. You know? Just sitting there, you know, spewing it out. You yeah, yeah. Rollo, man. These should be talking about some crazy shit. Yeah, man. well, you know, Joey Diaz got me into it because I... He had me on his podcast. Is what happened is, that, hey man, I didn't even know about this podcast world. Yeah. I was at the comedy store and Joe Rogan was there. And yeah. We kind of talked. And he who was does there. the Joe Rogan experience? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he had me on his podcast, and it was insane. Yeah, he yeah he does it up. I've been trying to get Joe down here too. Come on, Joe. Right? Nice. Well, Come on, be Joe. Get in the box, Joe. Yeah, this is. Yeah. yeah. You don't even, you don't even <laughs> I'm fucking high. Man. You just gotta sit in here with no yeah, joint. Yeah, you could just you're, you're sit good. in here with no joint. You'd be high as fuck. Nah, he gets high as fuck. I know he does. He I, gets high as I, fuck. I, you know, I, I got stoned with him on his Joe Rod- Rogan experience. Okay. Yeah, he, I, he does get high. Yeah. That's a, he's a stoner. Hell How yeah. do you feel about 
about uh, <coughs> you know the the cannabis world now, and a lot of uh, it seems like a lot of comedians are are, are you know <laughs> implementing a lot of stoner type of uh, material yeah. these days. It's much like when hip hop music, you know, and it became a thing to talk about weed in the songs. It seems like I know exactly what you mean. You know what it was like what Cheech and Chong did it, right? And then you guys did it, right? And then it was just Snoop and Wiz. And I was following. Yeah, I mean. For us, it's like, it's, I, I love it because it relates so much to me. Like, I got this new joke where I'm like, fuck, hey, weed is legal, but my grandma isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, hey, but that's, that's the, the serious, that's the reality of it. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, and uh, it's weird because my grandma brought it from Mexico here, but she can't stay, <laughs> you know? That's crazy. Uh, weed should have been legal. A lot of people, I use it for like my anxiety and chill because you know all that. We got, I don't know. We got pressure. I feel. I know you got pressure. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah. So this and uh, it's medically helping everybody, which, which I love, and it's the shit. If I, dude, look what it's doing. Yeah. What's your favorite shit you like to smoke? This shit right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's Jungle know. Cake yeah. by the by the Jungle Boys right there. Thank you, Jungle Boys. For yeah. Jungle Cake. Yeah. I'm I'm fucking higher than the hickey on the eagle. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. I'm higher than a hickey on the eagle. That's pretty fucking high. Yeah. This is Eagles bomb. are up there, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this, and I like the Moon Rocks. The yeah. moon rocks, you yeah. fuck with the moon yeah, rocks. Yeah, I fuck with the moon rocks. They get you fucking heavily baked, huh? Yeah, it's that old like little cholo. It's like it's like being on a wax for like a second. If if they ever <laughs> approached you to you know to do a stoner type flip? Well, moon rocks is like I got a buddy there. Are you talking about moon rocks or no? No, else? just you know, just. Period. Oh, you know what's crazy is I'm working on something right now with that. Yeah, I, I'm working on it, and uh, me and Felipe Esparza, we're, we're going to sell weed, but out of a pipe shop. That's, oh, oh, that's the, the scenario. It's, yes, and we're like in a plaza, and the plaza's going to have neighbors that we always have to hide shit from. It's going to be like a Chicano-American stoner style of like working in the shop, and like he works there because he uses the money for child support. Right. You know, I work there because I'm trying to get my grandma back. That's... You that's I mean? a, that that's a dope story right yeah. there. I would fucking watch that. Hey man, if we write you in, I'll be up? honest. You can be the coyote that takes my grandma. I'll be that <laughs> mother. <laughs> Hell yeah. She's like, nah, I'll stay with him. He has good weed. <laughs> I'll be an asshole, dog. You fucking write that shit in there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And what? you know what's crazy is, is uh I'm writing another I wrote a movie, it's called Mary Jane's Last Days, and I described the world without weed. Oh, that would be a fucking fucked up world. It is. Like, it's like 7-Eleven's only open eight hours now because no one ever has the munchies. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the movie, you bring the weed back and we save the world. It's, it's pretty bad. That's awesome. I'm fucking high. I am too, bro. Shit. <laughs> Man, I want to thank you for jumping in the box with oh, us, brother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hell thank yeah. you very much. Let, let them know where they can find the, the podcast and, and everything else. Brother. That's what's up. Uh, George Press Stories is on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher. And uh, that, I got a movie coming out called Taco Shop. It drops May 4th in eight theaters, but they made eight. Yeah. <laughs> from eight we get 16 yeah, pop right, off from right. eight we get 16 yeah. but it's gonna be on hbo hbo latino and uh hopefully if you have the fire stick just put it on there right? i just want to get out there boom <laughs> <laughs> that's, what's that's what's up man this Hell has been yeah. another smoke box we want to thank you for watching leave your comments subscribe to the channel fuck with george perez boom now blaze on They say I'm psycho, I move weight like lipo Got a big crib like Michael, out the window with a rifle My wrist game on light show, I'm backstage with white hoes I got pre-rolls in that red cup, that's key line, don't like those Got a full pack and we move that, too aggressive, better pull back Weight heavy, gotta run ready, my game steady, but you knew that I'm too on and my crew strong, big burn, my clips long We take dabs and hit bombs, grab the check, get gone Ooh, welcome to the
the smoke box. Light it up. Ooh, welcome to the smoke box.